mukbang mick bang mac bang however you pronounce it with um you know amici and friends <laughs> we are amici are right, you gonna tell us what we're eating all right so today we have we got three tacos we have a butternut squash mushroom caribbean taco then we have an avocado sriracha twist taco and then we have a sweet potato teriyaki taco yeah. oh yeah we got some wine you guys oh, taco tuesday do not drink if you're underage samantha chef is fire bro yeah, I was talking crap about the communion wine, <laughs> but the communion wine. Yo, that was my that sister. Point. That was my sister. She was like, "Yo, this is good, <laughs> bro. That's good. It's good, but it is communion wine." <laughs> but it's still fine. Okay, so which one is the first one I'm eating? This one is the Caribbean butternut squash mushroom shallot. Let me just show you guys what this looks like. Super. I hope you can see it. Like that is it right there. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. That's good. So you guys, um, just so you guys know, I'm eating kind of healthy because um, the holidays just ended. Um, I weighed in at 138 and I want to hit 130. I was at 130, 1.5, and now I'm at 138. Well, actually today I weighed in at 136. It's fine. I weighed in at, I weighed in at 200. So, uh, mm. yeah, it's gonna have to work for now. But yeah, aren't you trying to stay with like 190? No, I'm trying to stay at 200. Oh. But the topic of discussion today is wait. Let's sip of this wine before we give them the topic. <clears throat> These tacos are fire. Oh my! And this wine is fire. All right, now this five dollar. What I'm gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like ten dollars. But it's communion. Right? <laughs> so it's crazy. This is communion. Taco Tuesday. Listen, we do Taco on. Tuesday religiously. <laughs> say it again. My God, say it again. Let's talk about peace. Peace? Like, and that's... I didn't get that because I have a book called The Art of Peace right here. I didn't get that from that. I know you. Like, peace within. Having peace or keeping your peace when you're dealing with a whole bunch of, like, external factors that could easily just put you on a trajectory to like madness okay so the way i see everything is basically um everything is about perception and how you perceive it right mm -hmm. so everybody so just like in the world right mm -hmm. somebody good is also somebody bad and that's for everything and that's like the feng shui of the world that's yin and yang right mm -hmm. so when i'm in a tough situation a little tough cookie how to call it um for the most part i know i'm gonna be upset right then and there in the moment but then let me reflect on it like give me like a few hours to just like sit in my mind about the topic and i can like, i can perceive the whole situation completely different and understand it from a psychological standpoint so psychoanalysis has been on my mind lately because i actually do like the psychoanalysis of people so that's just kind of like where I stand, plus it like resonates with my tattoo. You know, everything is as it should be, because yeah. like, even though I'll, like, if I'm in a tough situation, I'm gonna grow from it. Is that a tattoo that's on your body? Yeah. It's Where's it at? It's on my ankle. I mean, if I have this shit, yeah, everything is as it should be. I'm gonna get a tattoo one day. <laughs> I don't know when that day is gonna be in. But I know, I, I see what you're saying, though. Yo, can you let me come? Like, let me, let me be there for that. I wanna be there yeah. for, for your tattoo. You're gonna be waiting until you're 50. I know. <laughs> Lex is coming to the door. Give me five minutes. It's gonna be from here to there. But knowing me, I'm probably gonna get like a piercing that day too. I'm gonna be 51. Right? Getting that, getting I'm getting my eyebrow pierced at 51. Yeah. I said it today. Hi. Hi, your eyebrow. That's not cool anymore? I thought eyebrow piercing. So, was cool. it was cool for like two seconds in high school. Yeah. 
And then just stop being cool. By the way, we're only removed from high school for like seven, it's been seven like years. Super mean. Yeah, it's, it's been seven years. Twenty four. Okay, okay, so just, just here, go ahead. Just tell me what the next one is. Alright, so I'll you come, just have to leave back. I'll come, I'll come back, back to it. To it's good though. Yo, so wait, let me just tell you what's going on with this taco though. Um, you have the sweet potato. That is really that good. That's definitely not sweet potato. <laughs> 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 sweet potatoes are the last one. <laughs> it's the same color, so <laughs> it's like... Oh my god! <laughs> it's a butternut squash cube. Oh, okay. The cubes of butternut squash. <laughs> so my bad. Butternut squash cube is bomb. I thought it was sweet potato, and I normally don't like sweet potatoes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I like this. You had a whole taco of sweet potato, and you, now you're telling you don't like sweet potato? A good one. Okay, luck. no, no. So it's like, I like sweet potatoes sometimes, yeah. but I won't just eat like a baked sweet potato. Oh, okay. Like, you know how you do like baked potatoes? Yeah. I won't eat a sweet baked potato. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> and then, like, I also won't order sweet potato fries. Yeah. But if somebody orders them, I'll eat them. Eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's just kind of how that is. Nice. But uh, okay, so rewind. Um, <laughs> the butternut squash taco, mm -hmm. fire. Um, you can taste the lettuce, the mushroom. There's no lettuce in there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Whoa. Is We're so gonna need to Google a new taste palette because she hasn't nailed a thing yet. <laughs> That's cilantro. I like the cilantro in it. Dang, my bad. I just taste green stuff in my mouth. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, just so you know, Morgan is somewhat vegan. Somewhat. We're vegetarian. <clears throat> We're vegetarian. We just, you know, most days are vegan. So I'm more of a, I'm on the raw side of stuff. We just talk food. I'm on the raw side of food. I don't eat the meat, fake meat, you know, or just peanuts that's created as in meat or plant-based heme of whatever that's made to make a fake meat but it's not meat because it's plant-based i don't miss any of that i'm more on the raw side of stuff give me a plant give me these leaves right here give me that tree i'm good that's all i need really to be honest me on the other hand i like chocolate sorry <coughs> i'm a meat eater and um but sometimes i will do a vegan meal i'm always down for a vegan meal honestly and um yeah no that is pretty bomb because normally i eat meat but this is straight all right, let's move on. So we're gonna move on to the next staple here. We have an avocado, just regular avocado with some sriracha and some vegan peas and tomatoes while she's hacking up a lot. Sorry. And see, you hear the difference in a vegan or a vegetarian sinuses and a meat eater sinus. First of all, <laughs> about to use this as a... First of all, okay, I was like, I've had allergies and eczema since I was born. Okay, I've been dealing with that since I was born. It's just gotten better yeah. because I've I've gone like holistic my medicine and like I eat better now. But yeah, I I before will. Get a, before it was wild. Yo, you you have no I'm idea. Not it yo it you don't realize how much you feel your skin. Yeah. Until you like like I like I can feel when an area is too dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. It's the worst. But it's like, it's my itchy. It's just, you just don't feel comfortable. You, like, you can wear whatever, you can do whatever, but you just don't feel comfortable. Right. I'm not gonna lie, I got mostly tortillas that time. Yeah, because I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take but, another bite. But I did get like a hint of it. No, take another bite. That's spicy. And I put a little bit. I mean, it's not like spicy, spicy. It's yeah. like a good, it's a good, like, okay. I tried so, to put a good amount, but not. The little bit I hit yeah. is hitting right here. Right here. So it's good. Like, no lie, I would like to be on hot ones and see how far I get. I don't, right? think, I don't think I'd finish it. I don't think I could finish You'd it. Finish it. I, don't I don't think I could. Should I be real for a sec? Bro, mm -hmm. thank you so much for getting us into YouTube. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't have done this on my own. I wouldn't have like the confidence or the motivation to do this on my own. So thank you. This is good. I, I like what we're starting at. This is fun. Mm -hmm. This is literally what we do all the time. Today is <clears throat> January 14th. And 
we'll see you January 14, 2021. It, we it'll be further. a Wednesday. It'll be a Wednesday. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. It'll be a Wednesday. Line me down Wednesday. I can't wait to send me a subscriber yet. Supporters. Send me a subscriber. It's gonna be dope. Mm-hmm. You, if you have any aspirations of starting YouTube, do it. Do it. Like, no, Why not? not? Pick up a camera. Put it down. We have to sit in front of it. Okay, so right now, this fried avocado to- taco is bomb. This is good. good. Fried is fire. This is good. Mm-hmm. I only got one of these. Hey, I these are good. I mean, I should be straight with this. This is <laughs> not food. But no, this is really the fried good. Fried avocado is good. Because when I told you when that place, mm. the Capital Taco place had it, they did it like the battle was crazy. Taco? Yeah, that's why I got the fried avocado. Or the one place in Fort Lauderdale. Both places. They had a capital. Oh my god. I had a fried avocado this weekend. This is really good. Oh. Fried avocado is good. So I don't want to go back there because <laughs> their tortilla is cold. Their tortilla was so cold. Like, I don't want to. That's because man was holding your food. Did you? Are you sure you were? Okay, then he walked away and then he came. <laughs> I was like, I don't like him playing with your food in the air like that. It made me uncomfortable. Honestly. Food was cold. <clears throat> this is cold. Yeah. This is cold. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's super cold. So the tortilla is kind of cold. Did you warm it up? I just want to warm it up. Mm-hmm. I just warm it up. So you see, guys, I ate that whole one while the butternut squash is still sitting there, but I'm going to finish that too. That's because the butternut squash was way thicker. It had a lot more in it. That makes sense. Okay. Plain. We definitely just left the topic of peace. <laughs> I mean, I went on a good, I went on a good spiel about it. You did go on a good spiel. I mean, that's just kind of how I view the world, though. Like, I can't get mad at somebody for viewing something. Like, you know, the older I get, mm-hmm. the more I understand villains and how world domination is kind of good. It's like if you, like the villain, like, <laughs> like okay, like cartoon villains, right? Just yeah. think of that on like, this is like Mojo Dojo. Mojo Dojo. Right? Mojo Dojo. Basically, you know, they just want to take over the world, right? The Spanish people say Mojo Mojo. Mojo Dojo. I have no idea. Mojo Dojo. I am not Mojo But you know Mojo Dojo. Yeah, I know Mojo Dojo. Mojo Dojo. But they had to say Mojo Dojo. Yeah, Shout out to the I have no idea. But okay, so Mojo Jojo, right? Want to take over the world. Right? And it was just against the power of Puff Girls, you know, in their little snap town, wherever they are. Mm-hmm. But you want to take over the world in order to make it a better place, you know? So it's like, I see where villains come from now. Mm-hmm. You know, like they are, their views are good to them, while they might be bad to other viewers. I'm not going to say to everybody else, but just to other viewers. And, you know, I think that's also why the reason, you know, Hitler was able to do what he did. Because so many people viewed his view as good, but really, you know, it was bad. Horrible. Yeah, you shouldn't kill people. You <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> But I'm just saying, but that's just like the perspective, like how I see the world. You know, it's just people are going to think that the good is good and people are going to think the bad is bad. But then there's people who think that the good is bad and the bad is good. Yeah. It's just cross and feng shui. It perfectly in this world. I'm done. There you have it, folks. <laughs> All right, wait, you can't go back to that one. That's, that's you have to wait for that to the last now. Now we're on to the sweet potato, which you just said you don't really like. <laughs> but we'll see. It has teriyaki, so hopefully it should go. Oh, you know I like teriyaki, though. I don't even know how this is going to taste, but it's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. Fire. I was very obvious. Teriyaki's lit, right? Yeah, lit. I like this. Okay. I was gonna add some vegan cream cheese to this one, mm-hmm. but I wasn't sure if you like cream cheese. I love cream cheese. All right, we'll add it. <laughs> Be right back, guys. Because that kind of needs is missing something. I'm just joking. I'm not about to do that the whole time. All right, so this is the cre- this is the vegan cream cheese we're using. Yeah, don't ask me what it is. I don't know. <laughs> But it's vegan, so wow, I don't have a fork. Don't get one. Nope. Oops. Oops. So 
I am not getting up again. Do you want me to get one? I want to. Yeah, I'm going to get one. Okay. Let me get one for you. Yeah. I got you. Oh. You know when they say, um, they put their foot into the food? I think I put my whole toenail into the food. You ever had vegan cream cheese? No. Is that a lot? Strange. Sure. I really like cream cheese. I do like cream cheese. Like I used to eat cream cheese and bagels all the time. Me too, yeah. But then um, kind of a carbless or low carb. Yeah. Low carb do it, Dave. Life changes. Trust me, I lived on cabbage for like three weeks. I remember that time. I remember when you were just like, oh, I'm eating cabbage. I'm eating cabbage. And I was like, what are you doing with cabbage? That was fire for you. I'm about to go back to it honestly. I don't like cabbage. I but I started eating like more vegetables in the last year, so. Did you push it to the front? No, I think it's in the back, honestly. I think. It's fire. Because it doesn't taste like it doesn't have that heavy cream cheese taste. Okay. It still tastes like fresh, so it's like. Okay. Creating stuff in the kitchen. I am. Oh, no, that's all you. Tell you. I just want to open up a coffee shop, but I don't even know too much about coffee. I didn't drink it. But I like my coffee sweet, so it's like I'm not even like a true coffee person because I like my, my sweet. This is, this is good. I don't know what that, like, thing he did to it, but that was a good addition. Right? It just added something because it really, it doesn't really have any taste. I mean, it just has a teriyaki sauce. It tastes like teriyaki. teriyaki. I don't yeah. like that, but the teriyaki adds like the teriyaki with cream cheese reminds me of sushi. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, mm -hmm. because the one sushi place has an exact sushi roll, just like this: with sweet potato, cream cheese, and then the rice. See, the literally, it's just in the rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if I could rank these tacos. Yeah, rank them. The avocado one is number one. one. Fire. Avocado that one is fire. Yep. Second one. I'm gonna go with this one. This one that I'm eating now. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, but I really enjoy cream cheese. Like I like cream cheese a lot. You know you rated the healthiest one last. Woo! <laughs> 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 mm. Probably because it tastes healthier. It tastes healthier. It just doesn't. You know what? I would probably say that just because like I know what I like. Yeah. I like sweet things. I like um cream cheese. Yeah. I like teriyaki sauce. That's mushrooms this one and with, butternut squash and tomatoes. Was there like any fire sauce on it? Like sriracha or anything? Was it, it was, that, was a, that was a little hot though. I don't think I put sriracha on that one. But I feel like that was the first one that kind of burned my throat. When you watch the video, you'll see it. Yeah, I don't know if I... Yeah, because I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but I did get like a hint of it. No, take another bite. That's crazy. Not but I think I should have though. It needed some sauce. I think that one might have been a little fire. I put a little lime on the first two. I didn't put lime on the last one. So I, I guess I just sit more comfortable at the last two. Yeah. Yeah. And both of those are like sushi rolls too. Like avocado True. rolls and the I mean I don't get that, but sushi. I don't ever get that. What you do is you grab an animal out of the ocean and you stab it. Bro, chill out, fam. Chill out, bro. I'm an activist. I'm a carnivore. Don't go in my kitchen because I don't have chocolate. Yeah, I do have chocolate. I'm sorry, I do black products have got some Kind of vegan, not really. I'm vegetarian. There's a whole other word <laughs> that you just can't disregard. Mm, can I put some cream cream on this one? Just because I like cream cheese. Yeah, it adds a lot. Especially the vegan one is not like too strong. So I like that. Yeah, no, it has like a. What is this taste it has yeah, to it? It's like a, it's different. No, like, I've had this taste before, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's ever been this fresh. I think that's like the whole like right? point of it. That is definitely not fresh because I've been sitting in my fridge. I mean, I assume. No, it hasn't been sitting there. I've only lived here for a month, so it hasn't been that long. But I think it's just, there's something about yeah. It's like not like it tastes fresh. Like the cream cheese has like a strong yeah. cream cheese taste. This doesn't even taste like cream cheese really, but it has mm -hmm. a consistency of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close this out. 
All right, you guys. So, um, I believe this is mukbang number two. We haven't posted any mukbangs yet, but this is gonna be our first or second one. Second one. You'll see one before <laughs> this one. So, um. Wow, we had tacos in that one too. Oh well, we're eating the same thing in the first two mukbangs. I don't know. But um, yeah, no, thanks for watching. This is Amichi. Please subscribe, like, ring the notification or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the bell. <laughs> something like that. I really have no Click idea. Click the bell at the top. Click it. Don't pay attention too much. Click I'm the trying. Bell. Bow. But Bow. yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time. Dope! We finished our second episode of Mukbang Chronicles. I'm so proud of us.